Something happened back in 774 or 775 AD that caused a sudden surge in the amount of radioactive carbon-14 around the world. Measurements of tree rings show that the concentration of C14 shot up by 1.2%. That's the largest and most rapid rise in C14 ever recorded, and about 20 times higher than the normal background rate of variation. The C-14 spike first came to light in 2012 in a study of Japanese cedar trees led by physicist Fusa Miyake, and so is called the Miyake event. It's also referred to as the Charlemagne or 774-775 event. Evidence for it has been found elsewhere in Germany, Russia, the United States and other countries. A surge in the beryllium isotope BE-10 has also been detected in Antarctic ice cores. From tree ring measurements, we know there was a sharp increase in C14 production followed by a slow decline, exactly what you'd expect if the cause had been a sudden burst of radiation striking the Earth. Another clue comes from the Anglo-Saxon Chronicle for 774 in which it is written. This year also appeared in the heavens, a red crucifix after sunset. Various ideas have been suggested for what the red crucifix might have been, including a supernova and a bright aurora. The most popular theory is that Mayaki event was caused by a solar particle event or solar radiation storm. These happen when a torrent of particles, mostly protons, is unleashed during a major disturbance on the Sun, such as a solar flare or a coronal mass ejection. In extreme cases, the barrage of particles from the Sun could cause effects not just high up in Earth's atmosphere, but at ground level. A very powerful solar particle event could lead to high-energy particles, including neutrons, bombarding Earth's surface. These particles, in turn, would lead to a sudden enhancement of radioactive species such as carbon-10, beryllium-10, and chlorine-36. This is more than a bit worrying because the Mayaki event wasn't unique. A new study published in 2022, also involving analysis of tree rings, has shown that something similar and perhaps even more powerful happened in 7176 BC. What's more, this earlier event seems to have happened near a solar minimum, when activity on the Sun is generally low, and to have gone on a year or two, rather than being just a sudden burst. We've also got evidence of smaller spikes in ground-level radiation in about 660 BC, and again in about 993 AD. Altogether, the data we have suggest a repeat of a Meraki level event every 10,000 years or less, and weaker events every millennium or even century. The fact that scientists can't predict when the next Meraki event might happen is a concern. Everything we know suggests it won't have major consequences for the existence of life on Earth, but it would almost certainly cause catastrophic damage to modern technology. It would knock out communication and space-borne navigation systems, long-range power lines and transformers. We'd be left with widespread power and communications outages, and there'd be a risk to any astronauts who were in space at the time. An intense solar storm known as the Carrington event struck about 150 years ago, and even back then, in the Victorian era, caused damage to early power and communications networks. A Mayaki scale event could involve radiation levels up to a hundred times greater. And society is nowadays far more dependent on complex and sensitive technology. <laughs>